Hi, I'm Hammer Chen. In this video tutorial, we are going to create Mushroom Cloud with Phoenix SD. And this is the rendering result. Before we get started, make sure you, uh, you set up your gamma correction correctly. I set my gamma to 2.2, both input and output. Check the effect color selector and uh, effect material editor. After installation of Phoenix FD, you will have a, a simple file. Let's open up the <coughs> simple file nymph.max. You will find a simulator 01 in your scene. Scroll down the rollout, you will find the template. We will save it this uh, only this parameter in the APR file. So I save this APR in here as nuke.apr. We will use this later on. Okay, let's reset the scene. And go to create panel and uh, you will find uh, Phoenix FD, uh, a Phoenix simulator. Create this uh, region to define the sim to sim where to simulate. Roughly the X and Y size about 100. And uh, scroll down the rollout, you will find a template, and let's load the template we just created in the beginning. Okay. Next, we need a uh, emit uh, file emitter, so let's create a cylinder. and make sure it's not rendable. And go to create panel helper uh, Phoenix FD Phoenix source is in the tank oil shape or your tank shape and pick up the cylinder we just created. And in here increase the temperature to three thousand and the amount of smoke to about 5. And key the discharge parameter from 300 to 5. Select the Phoenix FD01 and uh, you can Decrease the standard gra uh, gravity from 1 to 0.8. And the maximum step, you can increase this. This will uh, enhance the realistic of the result. So let's hit simulate. And this is the result of 100 frame uh, simulation. As you can see, it end up too early. So let's uh, increase the animation time, animation frame to uh, 150. And uh, there is uh, adaptive grid uh, turn to switch to smoke it will automatically increase the grid size. And you can lower the quality of uh, cons uh, conservation to about 8. OK, 
okay, this is the result I find is good enough. As you can see, I play around with the parameter. For example, this cell size, I make it 1.2 and uh, increase the quality back to 20 and the step size, maximum step size to 30. Uh, it is very important to know that the maximum step and the cell size are interconnected, those two parameters. If you lower the cell size, of course it will increase the resolution for your simulation. However, the rendering result might require different when you use higher cell size. And uh, even though you set your cell size to very low, for example, 0.5, it might not look very realistic. So you have to find a good number of the cell size and uh, com in combination with the maximum step. So that, uh, I think we, uh, for the simulation part, we finish. So that's it. it's time for us to set up the relay for the lighting. First, first of all, we create a light, standard light target. And check the shadow, turn the shadow on, and uh, select shadow type to mirror shadow. For the intensity, I set the modifier to 5. And the color light orange is the color of the sun. And make sure your light cone is cover all this mushroom. So I increase the radius of hotspot. Okay. <coughs> so it's time for us to render this. Yeah. The too bright. Um, since the Phoenix FD is a product of a chaos group, same as V-Ray, so we will use V-Ray as our renderer. Then go to rendering setup, assign render, and uh, use V-Ray Advanced as your render. For the environment, and make it about oh, it's, it's default value. And uh, since we have to set up our gamma correctly, remember to in the color mapping, set the gamma to uh, 2.2. Check the pixel mapping and don't affect color. Okay. <coughs> and back to uh, Phoenix FD. Uh, scroll down this rollout, you will find the uh, color and transparency. In here, you can change the color of your smoke. Uh, let's make it a uh, dark gray. And let's make a render. Right. Why we have this stupid result? Uh, it is because I forget to select our light. I forget to turn on the atmosphere shadow to now turn it on. And let's hit render. Uh, as you can see, we have two dark area. And it's here, that's because we didn't turn on the indirect illumination. Let's turn it on and uh, set the irradiance map quality to very low. Okay, we are getting there.
from here is look too opaque. All we can do is go to the color and transparency. Let's increase the multiplier for the light scattering. As you can see, the result looks much better and brighter. Uh, I think I can make this light more orange color. And there's a long debate that some people think the Phoenix FD cannot render uh, quality as good as Filmfax. As you can see in here, the quality looks, uh, it's kind of blurry, like a Photoshop blurry uh, filter added to the rendering. Uh, here I will explain why. Go back to Phoenix FD and uh, there's uh, in the rollout you can find a in the render in there's a, a sampler type set to spherical. Uh, this is a kind of like a Photoshop a blur filter to those voxel for each voxel it blur it so it looks really unsharp and blur. So let's switch to truncate it and render it again. And you will see it looks much uh, sharp, even though it too looks too pixel. But the quality is much better than this. change to other angle why we have this stupid rendering result that is because I forget to turn on the atmosphere of shadow let's turn it on as you can see we have we see the shadow but it too looks too dark. Go back to uh, rendering setup. Let's turn on the V-ray in the render emulation and uh, set the irradiance map preset to very low. Uh, some people complain about the rendering of Phoenix FD it looks too blurry. Uh, here's the trick. Select the Phoenix FD and go down the uh, rendering. You can see there's a sampler type. The default sampler type is spherical. As you can see, the default rendering looks too blurry and too unrealistic. But if you change it to truncated, it will actually render out all the voxel. So let's finish this tutorial by opening the scene I created. I open up in the beginning. As you can see, this, uh, this uh, finished scene took me some time to take all the parameter to get those Result, you can see the detail of this cloud. Let's make a render. I hope you find this tutorial helpful, and bye bye.